that is what I mean. That is how thick I want it because you're going to add in the other vegetable. And if you do a lot of soup, when you combine them, it's going to turn out really watery. And of course, it won't give it the taste we want. So let me just give this here some, some little time to get ready. Let's check on the salt, of course. Hmm? <laughs> I'm going to add in some little thing because we're going to mix with that. So. Just a little bit. One, two, three, eight. All right. So, guys, for those of you who eat this thing, how else do you prepare? Like, I've ever tested it in this form, even with soup. Even that moment when, when I had not added the soup would do. Hmm? In this vegetable, you don't like, we have really, really a lot of options out of this. So you never run out of ideas. At least when you have this in the house, actually most of the, most of the homesteads keep this thing in the house. Especially those rush hours when you get abrupt visitors, you know, you run to this and you're just sorted. Of course, peanut butter being there. <laughs> come back <laughs> so guys as the silver fish is getting ready let me be cleaning this this also there's a possibility of it having some soil particles in fact let me just clean it on the table it's more comfortable here so you just hit it like this So when you do that, you beat off the soil particles. The one which you put that side is definitely clean. Let me check how far this is before I cut. I want to make sure the soup is uh -huh, it's there. The soup is actually reduced. And that is what I want. Alright. So I can be cutting this the vegetable ready So guys, this one is also cooked with um, the bicarbonate, yeah? Either the liquid one or even magadi, the salt, is this salt roll? I'm not sure if I said it right. Hmm? Please let me know it's, if it's called that in English, please. But this is what I'm meaning anyways, right here. These are the sold in the market, eh? they tie them like this, yeah. So this is the one I've opened, let me just pour it here. Yeah. Please let me know if this is called rock salt. We we'll use that for softening this vegetable right here. And we have um, we have a habit of putting this in cold water. It makes it okay. You know this vegetable is really slippery, like you know, and that is what we actually want. The slipperiness is what we want. So when you cook this, like you put it straight in cold water, then you just put it on fire and bring up the slipper right so well just as you want it and that is the same reason I'm just going to do this straight <laughs> weird right mm, oh strange I don't know but that is anyway if you didn't know that this is it if you didn't know that uh, putting it with cold water makes it more slippery please try it then you come back and testify But of course you can put it in hot water like when it's already on fire and it still does no harm. So guys, let's also carry this right here. And just put it aside. Let me do this. And of course I'm going to add in the, the magadi. For us we call it magadi. So guys, I'm going to add in the magadi. Just for softening. I don't like the hard particles until I pound it again later. Because I'm trying to 
pick up this i'm gonna leave in the powder <laughs> There we go. So guys, we want to have a look at this again. Once more. Just a closer look of this sauce, guys. See how it looks. Really colorful. Right? Yeah. So actually, I'm having a second thought. I love this thing. Like, I love silver fish, if you didn't know. So just after seeing this again, I want to divide it. Hmm? I'll show you just a small portion when it's mixed how it looks like and how it tastes like but i think i'm going to keep half of it for myself <laughs> so that i can eat this with posho guys Woo! so nice let me just put it here So for this, it's not very advisable to cover it because when it starts boiling, it, like it pours out. So I'm not going to cover it. I'm just going to keep it open to avoid the risk of pouring. Let's try to clear out this place. starting to boil as you can see and as you, I think you notice how the color is still not changed properly because the magadi is only this side let me show you now, the magadi is still here it like it has not mixed it eh? you can notice now let me just mix it then you're going to notice the color difference just a bit if you're keen you will Mm -hmm. Do you notice? <laughs> without magadi, okay. In other words, without magadi, it's kind of whitish. Yeah, yeah. But that's just the difference with magadi and without. So let me just leave this here to boil. Right there until it's ready. all right guys so here we, i think you can see the stickiness are you able to see it see how it runs back yeah it's really sticky guys and that is the the best part of this vegetable guys so i think you notice why we put very little okay like i wanted the the silver fish to have almost no soup because the soup will come from here so i think you can notice now and it's almost ready. It's just like, I think I'm actually going to test this. And you know how it runs back because it's slippery. Like you try to pick it in, it runs back into the pan. I want to eat it in all categories. So I'm going to keep some silver fish here without the okra, the leafy okra. And you, I think you've noticed it's even more than this one. <laughs> I like it so much. But because this one, if your okra is going to add it, so even if it's lit, it's not, it's not bad. It's going to be added, you know, but this one is. So I'll keep that for later use. <laughs> ah, at this point, all I'm just going to do is mix this here. Do you get what I'm doing? And I don't want it to be too much of vegetables so let me first mix and see of course we'll get it back on fire and whoa this one if you eat uh if you eat what we call kalara you guys call it red pepper hmm? <laughs> hot pepper guys if you add it into this sauce then you eat with kosho you'll drink a jug of water i can testify i'm telling you hmm? the same thing with this if you add here hot pepper eh? oh just don't want to know so let me leave this here a bit to mix properly like two minutes here on fire and we're good to go let me test the salt if it's fine because now we've added the vegetable hmm? Hmm. 
I think I'm going to over eat tonight hmm? because I have three sauces to eat, you guys. I have this, I have this on fire, and then of course this one. Like, who I'm going to over eat? <laughs> So I'm just going to put this aside. It's like I have a lot of cooking today. <laughs> so that one is actually done. Let's leave that. Then we turn to this other one. So that is one option of cooking with the leafy okra. And then of course this other option. For those of you who prefer meat. With any meat. Except chicken. I've not tried it. But I think I need to try it before I can, I can, I can confirm. So don't try with chicken yet, but any other meat, you're good to go. So since this pan is actually bigger, I think I'm going to add this back here. Ooh, hot pepper added here. You lick your finger until I don't know what. You know? It's really nice, guys. So, guys, this sauce right here. Hmm? I can't even wait to eat this already. These are the two options. But anyway, is there any other option? Please, if there is any other option that maybe I didn't know. Please, you could also let me know in the comment section and I'll try. For me, I only knew this. Yeah, that is why okay to show you this. So, of course, I want to taste this one. Wow. Hmm. So, I think it's um, I'll be lying anyway <laughs> because I want to go. So guys thanks very much for watching if you're new please make it a point to subscribe already mm. of course if you're my returning subscriber you're so much welcome of course as usual guys so i'm out